Hey guys, how's it going? This is Mike from MNR Automotive. Today we have a brand new Tesla Cybertruck and we're installing a 40 inch light bar. First thing we have to do in order to get the frunk out is actually lift these two tabs. There's two covers that expose two bolts on each side. So you just pry it with a screwdriver. And I'm gonna go ahead and take out these four. These are 10 millimeter. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna unclip this top piece. It's held on clips. You can separate it here. Where is it? It's just held on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine clips. So we'll put that to the side. Okay. Now that we remove the top trim piece, there's two more bolts that is exposed, the 10 millimeter bolts. We're gonna remove those as well. The next thing is to remove these pins, twist them counterclockwise, and just pull them out. Now that everything in the Cybertruck, in terms of all the bolts and clips are removed, we get to pick up the front lining, but there's also a wiring harness on the driver's side. So if you tilt this piece up, all you have to do is just pull this out. Now you might have to press on that button to pull the plug. When removing the front, make sure it doesn't get caught up by the windshield wiper cap. So work on the passenger side first, and then just take it out. Now that the front lining is removed, we can go ahead and install the light bar mounts. Plastic inserts that are held by clips, I'm just gonna put my hand in here and pull this panel. It will remove, and you just kinda slide it out the way. There's one 10 millimeter bolt that we're gonna remove here in order to slide the MR bracket. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. Just kinda pry it out, unclip it, and remove it. And I'm gonna take out the 10 millimeter bolt here. So these are the plastic trim pieces that we just removed. We are not going to be reusing them in the installation. We're gonna put them aside. So in order to attach these, we're gonna go ahead and use the supplied hardware. I'm gonna put a bolt through here. And don't forget, there's a small spacer that comes with the bracket itself. You're gonna go on the, on the back side of it. So that's gonna allow it to be pushed forward a quarter inch. And we're just gonna slide this and align it with the bolt opening. So make sure not to tighten it all the way. I like to do the final tie downs after the light bar is in the middle. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. We're gonna feed the MNR bolt through the bracket. We're gonna put the quarter inch spacer in the back and we're gonna thread it in place. Okay, on this side, I'm gonna leave it a little bit loose because I'm gonna to wanna to feed a wire through here from the light bar. So we're gonna grab the wire from the light bar and we're gonna feed it behind the bracket. So now you can feed it in between the tow hook, you'll see there is a light opening. And if you feed the wire through, you'll be able to pull it out in the front area. All right, so feed that through. And now we can install the light bar in between the mounts. Use the provided hard hardware in order to secure the light bar to the mounts. Now we're gonna go ahead and tighten those bolts in order to secure these plates to the bumper itself. There we go. Now the light bar is very sturdy. Everything's set in place. Now let's go ahead and do the wiring. Now that we have the wiring in the front area, let's talk about how we're going to connect it. The light bar comes with two wires. There's a red wire, which is the positive, and then there is a black wire, which is the ground. You do have auxiliary switches within the Tesla Cybertruck that you can control on the monitor itself, and you do have pigtails here that will provide that switch power. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off this rubber piece. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove the protective covering. Okay, let me actually cut through it, that'll be easier. The two that we're gonna use red with the blue stripe, which is the positive, and then the brown with the blue stripe, which is the ground. So we're gonna add an inline step down converter for the Cybertruck to connect our light bars, just for the fact that the Cybertruck puts out 48 volts in these wires, and we need to step that down to 12. So you can purchase this on Amazon or eBay. They are readily available. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna take 48 volts, take it through this box, and output 12. And that's exactly what we need to power our light bar. So after looking at the diagram, the red and black are the power wires that go to the battery, and the yellow and black are the output device. So the output device is the light bar. So this one, the red and black is gonna connect to the power wires here, and then the yellow and black is gonna go to the light bar. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna slip a crimp connector, and we're gonna crimp it. So now we're gonna connect the red wire to the red and blue stripe and crimp it. Now we're gonna connect the black wire next to the red wire. We're gonna connect that to the brown with the blue stripe. 
So now we have the red and black from the light bar, and then we have the yellow and black from the module. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll put the crimp connectors on there. I'm gonna go black to black, and I'm gonna go red to yellow. So a quick recap, we used a step-down converter to drop it from 48 volts to 12. We connected the red wire with a blue stripe, which is the positive, to a red wire and a module. We connected the brown wire with a blue stripe, which is the ground, to the black wire next to the red wire on the module. And that left us with two output wires, which is the yellow and the black, that connect directly to our light bar. So the yellow is the positive, so we went to yellow to red and then black to black, which is two grounds. So now we're ready to test it. Bam, it works nice and bright. So after firing up the light bar, we've noticed one thing. You are not able on the screen to turn on off, on, off, on. So I've tested that theory by turning it off and I still saw voltage in the line. It's not the module, it's not the light. It's the electrical system of the Cybertruck. So look, right now we're showing zero volts. Okay, I'm gonna go turn it on. So the light bar is on. There is 48 volts going to our module, and you can see it on the voltmeter, 46 volts. But when you turn it off, it's gonna go out gradually. So technically it will not allow you to cycle on off multiple times. You're gonna have to wait a minute in between for all the voltage to drop. I'm gonna turn it off on the screen and then we're gonna hop and, and, and track the voltage. Now it's off, and let's go check on the voltage. It'll still have some voltage going to it. Here, see eight, and it's going down, seven, Six. If you decide to use your light bar, leave it on. If you turn it off, you, you know that you need at least a, maybe a one minute cool down period in order to turn it back on. I wonder why they do that for. Uh, maybe someone can tell us why. Maybe, yeah, maybe somebody can, but it, it's not a constant on off like a normal 12 volt system on a 48. It needs time for it to actually drain all the energy off. I'm sure there's some kind of a safety concern. So you have the 40 inch light bar installed. It looks awesome. We're gonna go ahead and install the front. Uh, back in place and then tuck all the wiring away and go for a test drive. Thank you very much for watching. I know you're gonna love the product.